Hello, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Because of the love of an American woman who divorced twice, the eighth King Edward was willing to give up his throne. His decision to abdicate caused a constitutional crisis and forever changed the royal succession order. And he was the king with the shortest reign in British royal history. In today's video, we will learn about the eighth Edward, the first King of England to voluntarily relinquish his throne. Born to succeed the throne, Edward Sachs Gobert Gotha was born on June 23, 1894 at White Lodge, Richmond Park. Edward was born during the reign of his great-grandmother Queen Victoria as the eldest child of the Duke and Duchess of York, later the fifth King George and Queen Mary. His mother was the eldest daughter of Francis, the Duke of Teck. At birth, he was naturally ranked third on the list of successors to the English throne after his grandfather and father. He was baptized as Edward Albert Christian George Andrew Patrick David at the Green Drawing Room of White Lodge on July 16, 1894 by Edward White Benson, Archbishop of Canterbury. As a tradition for the upper-class children at that time, Edward and his brothers are cared for by nannies instead of biological parents. Edward's parents, though very strict, but also very affectionate. His mother often played with his children, in contrast to her austere image in public. Edward's brothers often confided in her. Edward was originally taught at home by Helen Bricka. When his parents traveled to the colonies during the nine months after Queen Victoria's death in 1901, he and his brothers remained in England with their grandparents. When his parents returned, Edward was left with the two men to take care of him, Frederick Finch and Henry Hansel, and so on, until he and his children reached adulthood. Edward was severely educated by Hansel until he was 13 years old. He was taught by German and French tutors. Edward attended the Osborne Naval School in 1907. Hansel had wanted Edward to go to school earlier, but his father did not allow it. During his two years at Osborne College, Edward seemed to dislike it, and later moved to the Royal Naval Academy at Dartmouth. He was scheduled to train for two years in the Royal Navy. When his father ascended the throne, after the death of the seventh King Edward, Edward naturally became Duke of Cornwall and Duke of Rothesay, and was crowned Prince of Wales and Earl of Chester a month later, 23 months. June 6, 1910, on the 16th birthday. People began to prepare Edward for the tasks that he needed to do as the future king. His name was withdrawn from naval training, and he officially became a naval officer for three months, serving on the Hindustan warship. Soon after, Edward enrolled in Magdalen College, Oxford. At this place, he was educated the necessary qualities of a future monarch. An equestrian enthusiast, Edward signed up to join a college polo club. He left Oxford after eight semesters and received no degree at all. The Amorous Prince Prince Edward possesses a handsome, bright appearance with blonde hair. Because of that, his love is also extremely illustrious. In his younger years, Prince Edward had a quick love affair with a French maid. In 1917, during the First World War, he was involved in a love affair with a girl from Paris named Marguerite Albert. She kept a dozen of his secret love letters. After the relationship broke down in 1918, Edward began a love affair with a married British woman named Fred Dudley Ward, heir to a textile company. In the following years, Prince Edward continued to extend his girlfriend list. Most of them have complicated backgrounds or married women. He changed his look like a change of clothes, and almost no love was deep. Prince Edward is probably the only royal member 
to lead a bohemian lifestyle that goes beyond royal standards in Wales. Rarely has a prince in the past appeared on the newspapers as often as Prince Edward. He was also sought as an entertainment star, which of course was beyond anything royal and British people could imagine. The reckless and promiscuous actions of Edward in the 1920s and 1930s made British Prime Minister Stanley Baldwin, the Fifth's King George, and those close to him nervous. Alan Lascelles, Edward's personal secretary during the eight years of this period, believes that due to psychological and genetic reasons, the prince's normal development has stalled as he reached adolescence. The fifth King George was disappointed to see Edward fail to settle down. The king also hated Edward's relationships with married women and was reluctant to assume he was the heir to the throne. George said that, after I die, he will ruin himself within 12 months. Prince Edward then met Wallace Simpson, an American woman who possessed a lovely beauty, at a party in 1931. But at first, the couple were just normal social friends. It was not until their destiny to reunite three years later, the two began to become close. At that time, Prince Edward was attached to Lady Thelma Furness, who was the wife of an English aristocrat. While Wallace had experienced a failed marriage and was currently in separation from her second husband at that time, Wallace frequently visited Thelma's house and the three talked often. They often share with each other about everything in life. It was Thelma who facilitated Prince Edward and his close friend Wallace to come together. On a business trip to America, Thelma asked Wallace to take care of her boyfriend instead. What perhaps Thelma herself never expected, that this innocent act had caused her to lose her lover and to strengthen the relationship between Prince Edward and Wallace. Thought this would also be a quickly ended love story of Prince Edward. But shortly thereafter, MS full stop Wallace moved to England completely and continued to maintain a good relationship with the famous Prince Amorous. Although they insisted, this was a sincere affection, members of the royal family protested. Because they thought Wallace's past was too complicated and unsuitable for royalty. Some even think that this love affair is a stain for royalty. You are watching a video on the LMT YouTube channel. Don't forget, check out our new channel specializing in royal and entertainment videos. More information please see below the comment section. Abandon the throne and marry quietly. In 1936, the fifth King George died, and Prince Edward officially took the throne in place of his father. At that time, his love and Wallace were increasingly pressured by pressure. People criticized an American woman who divorced twice ineligible to become future queens. The intense opposition of public opinion caused the eighth King Edward extremely headache. Not only that, he is also the supreme leader of the Church of England, with the policy of opposing remarriage after divorce if the husband or wife is alive. This means that the eighth King Edward will not be able to marry Wallace if her ex-husband has not passed away. Therefore, the eighth King Edward was forced to stand before two choices, one is the throne and the other is love. No one doubts that the man of the moon, in place of his girlfriend in the past, could decide to give up everything, choose a simple life with his lover like a commoner. Explaining his choice, the eighth King Edward once said, I cannot bear the responsibility and perform the work of a king without the help and support of the woman I love. Edward signed the abdication letter at Fort Belvedere on December 10, 1936, in the witness of his younger brothers. The throne was later given to the brother of the eighth King Edward, Prince Albert. With a 326-day reign, the eighth King Edward became the emperor to have the shortest reign in British royal history. After the abdication of the eighth, Edward was conferred as the Duke of Windsor, 
while MRS Wollstock Wallace refused all titles. She wanted to simply be called Lady. On June 3, 1937, he married MRS Wollstock Wallace after she completed the divorce procedure with her second husband. The couple's wedding was held at Cand Castle, in the city of Tours, France, but only, only 20 guests attended. The Duke Edward and his wife chose to leave the misty country, living a peaceful life between France and the U.S. until the once King of England died on May 28, 1972, for cancer of the arch. Throat. His body was taken back to England and buried at Windsor Castle. After 14 years, MRS Hall Stock Wallace died. Her body was then taken to England to rest with her husband. In 1936, MS Hall Stock Wallace was voted America's Woman of the Year by Time magazine. Explaining this title, an editor of Time said, in the whole history of the United Kingdom, only one king voluntarily abdicated, and that happened in 1936 for a single woman. Not only was Wallace the most talked about person, MS Hall Stock Wallace at that time also became the most talked out topic and topic for newspapers as well as people around the world. Although not recognized by the royal family, the legendary love story between King Edward VIII and MRS Falstock, Wallace is still bold in every page of the history books. The next generation still remembers the eighth Edward as a lovesick king, vowing to give up the throne to be with the woman he loves. Escape from Hitler's abduction plot Duke Edward and his wife live mainly in France, but they also visit other European countries, including Germany. A place the Duke was honored by Nazi officials in October 1937 and met Adolf Hitler. During this period, Hitler considered Edward to be a good friend of the Nazis and thought that Anglo-German relations would be much better if Edward did not abdicate. The Nazis created a plan to kidnap Edward with the intention of bringing him back to the throne as a puppet king. The British government also discovered that Hitler had planned to make Edward the puppet king of Great Britain if the Germans won the Second World War. The sixth King George, as well as the Prime Minister of England were Winston Churchill, firmly opposed any peaceful compromise with the Nazis. Upon learning of the abduction plot, Churchill hurriedly gave Edward the governor of the Bahamas region of the West Indies. He and his wife departed from Lisbon on August 1, 1940. They narrowly escaped from the abduction of the Nazi National Guard. After the end of the Second World War, in 1945, Duke Edward resigned and the couple returned to France to live. They live mainly in Paris. Edward has returned to England several times, like the times he returns to attend the funerals of his grandfather and mother. It was not until 1967 that the couple received an official invitation from the British royal family that was the time they returned to attend the ceremony of the medal honoring Queen Mary as his mother. Edward died in Paris in 1972, but was buried at Frogmore in the land of Windsor Castle. In 1986, Wallace died and was buried beside his husband. Thank you for watching the video on the LMT YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and watch more new videos to support us. You are watching a video on the LMT YouTube channel. Don't forget, check out our new channel specializing in royal and entertainment videos. More information please see below the comment section. Don't stop.